Rokot, Russian, Rokot meaning rumble or boom, also transliterated Rokot, is a Russian space launch vehicle that can launch a payload of 1,950 kg into a 200 km Earth orbit with 63 degrees inclination. It is a derivative of the UR-100N SS-19 Stiletto Intercontinental Ballistic Missile ICBM, supplied and operated by Eurocot Launch Services. The first launches started in the 1990s from Baikonur Cosmodrome out of a silo. Later commercial launches commenced from Pulsetsk Cosmodrome using a launch ramp specially rebuilt from one for the Cosmos 3M rocket. The cost of the launcher itself was about 15 million in 1999. The Eurocot contract with ESA for launching Swarm in September 2013 was worth 27.1 million euros, 36 million dollars. <laughs> Topic: Specifications. Roko's total mass is 107 tons, its length 29 meters and its maximum diameter 2.5 meters. The liquid-fueled rocket comprises three stages. The lower two are based on the Soviet UR-100 NICBM, the first stage uses an RODE 0244 engine, while the second stage uses an RODE 0235. The third stage is a Briz KM, Russian Briz KM meaning Briz KM, which has a mass of about 6 tons when fueled and is capable of flying for 7 hours and reigniting its engine 6 times during flight, allowing different satellites to be placed into different orbits. All stages use UDMH, unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine, as fuel and dinitrogen tetroxide as oxidizer. The Strela is a similar rocket, also based on the SS-19. Topic. History The first suborbital test launch succeeded on 20 November 1990 in Baikonur Cosmodrome. On 26 December 1994 Rokot brought its first satellite into Earth orbit. In 1995, Khrunichev State Research and Production Space Center formed a company with German Daimlerbinds Aerospace to market Rokot launches for commercial use. Later, the company was renamed to Eurocot Launch Services. Eurocot bought 45 Roka from the Russian Strategic Missile Forces to build its inventory. In 2000, Eurocot was partly bought by the German company Astrium GmbH, a shareholder of Arianespace. Astrium now holds 51% of Eurocot's shares, while Khrunichev holds 49%. Although there are several silos in Baikonur capable of launching Roka, it was decided to build an open, non siloed launch pad at Pulsetsk Cosmodrome instead. This is because of concerns that the amount of noise generated during a silo based launch would damage satellites. In the new pad, Rokot is wheeled up to the structure in a vertical position, and then embraced by its launch tower. The payload is lifted by a crane and placed on top of the bottom two stages. The procedure is in contrast to other Russian launchers, which had traditionally been assembled horizontally and then transferred to the launch site via railways. The first launch from Pulsetsk took place on 16 May 2000. After six entirely successful launches, a launch failure occurred on 8 October 2005, leading to the loss of the European Space Agency's Cryosat spacecraft. The launch vehicle's second stage main engine was not shut down properly, resulting in a catastrophic failure and automatic termination of the launch mission by the onboard computer. The payload was lost. After the failed Cryosat launch, all Rokot launches were suspended until the failure was identified. The root cause was unambiguously identified, it was a failure in programming of the Briz KM, which was contracted to the company JSC. Cartron. The failure of this high-profile mission led to major reforms in Khrunichev, the director of the company Alexander Medvedev was dismissed, new launch procedures were introduced, the lines of management were straightened out to catch errors and the new Khrunichev chief, Viktor Nesterov, was required to report directly to the head of the Russian space agency, Anatoly Permanov. 
Corrective measures for Roko's return to flight were implemented for the South Korean KOMPSAT-2 Earth Observation Satellite launch which took place successfully on 28 July 2006. The Korean side reportedly praised the level of service they received, encouraging the Rokot team to rebuild its order book. Another launch failure occurred in February 2011, when a Briz KM malfunction resulted in the GEO IK 2 No. 11 satellite being placed into a lower orbit than planned. The Rokot version with a Ukrainian control system will stop flying after 2019, due to Ukraine's ban on technology exports to Russia. A full Russian-made ROKOT-2 light carrier rocket may begin again in 2021. The launch is expected to generate a revenue of 8 billion rubles $120 million, if the decision to resume the project is made within 2018. Topic. Launch history Topic. Planned launches Topic. See also Comparison of orbital launchers families Strela